out loud and the angry customer whose ride made it all possible. Are you trying to say he got married after you paid the money to him? The very moment I gave him my money, that's when he wanted to get married. Fine, I told him, say, I want to marry you. I'm not spending money for the marriage. Okay, you spend his own money to treat your mother, not to marry. Life in Lagos is ever demanding. Likewise, any commercial capital in the world. Growing up as a young girl in Africa, I knew exactly what I was up against. But I maintained a clear focus to life and on that account, never took for granted any given opportunity. It is a common belief that society shapes people. But with over 30 years as a litigation counsel, I stayed convinced that people possess the power to shape any society they live in. Opportunity granted. With the right mindset, right culture, and the right type of justice, every nation can overcome its challenges without any fear or favor. Jean is suing Peter for the sum of 660,000 Naira, being money handed over to his friend to repair and refurbish his car. Peter duly agrees he did receive money, but says he had to use it to resolve This case is between Jean and Peter. Party is sworn on oath. Thank you. You're welcome, Your Honor. Mr. Jeans, Francis, yes, my if honor. I. Yes, my Honor. You are the plaintiff here. Yes. You are suing Peter Augustine with you. Yes, Yes, my honor. Okay. Mr. Jean. Yes, my honor. What do you do for a living? I'm a businessman. What kind of business are you into? Yeah. But from Europe. How did you meet the defendant? He's a family friend, uh, an engineer to my father. Electrical? Yes, he's an engineer or mechanical? to my father. Yeah, he Mechanic fixed. Electrical engineer. How long have you, have you known the family? Like eight. So I called him on getting to the spot of the place. He, he cited the vehicle and he told me what and what I should do in the vehicle. We came compromise that he should, I should pay him 660,000 naira. And I gave him cash to fix the car and pimp the ride. So on coming back, uh, I still met the car.
I traveled and I came back around November. So you were not in Nigeria? Yes, I was. You not left in your car with him for three months? No, he didn't even go to pick the car there. He didn't pick the car at all, okay? So I went back to my father and I said, This is what happened. I have, I have not seen this guy and this guy. I won't get the money to do that. So what did he say that did not make sense to you? I wouldn't know. He said he has family problems. Uh, he went to marry. The marriage was not... Well, I don't know. He's here to say for himself. I wouldn't know what happened. But since then, he refused. Uh, even up to now, the car is... Out of it for the hospital, I spent 200 He doesn't even want a pimped up car anymore. He just wants his money. I've heard that several times. You lost your mom. You spent 200,000 naira on medical bill. At least there's still 460,000 naira left with you. So what have you done with the 460,000 naira? At the time you handed the money over to him, did you agree on the time? Yes, he told that... me the car was going to be ready in 30 weeks or a month's time. Okay. Before the expiration of that day, you traveled outside? Yes, of course. So you didn't bother to check on him at all until you traveled? Just because my father introduced him to me, I was free with him. You collected money. You've told me what the money is meant for. So what happened thereafter? You went to where? You went for to the me. money. They told for you... The money. I, I travel, I can't take my mother to hospital for Bini. I take my mother to hospital. Can you prove that? Do you have anything to prove that this is how much I paid for medical bill? 
even though that money is not meant for that purpose. The money Other than be... sixty thousand naira, sorry. Where is the balance? Along the line, I lost my mother. Along the line, I spent. I've heard that several times. You I lost your mom. Money. You spent two hundred thousand naira on medical bill, right? He still had. He, he, at least there's still four hundred and sixty thousand naira left with you. So what have you done with the four hundred and sixty thousand naira? Now for the expenses when I run, I bet my mother. I know. I know. Oh, you use the money for the barrier of I, your I, mom I again. I spent the money for the barrier. Okay. I spent the money for the barrier. Then after I spend the money, I come back. Then I call, call one of my friends. I, I explain to one of my friends. I tell this see so can probably when I get see how much when I collect for one of one of my customer hands. See, see the work we didn't give me. Me, I expect me go give me like maybe some months and here I feel run. I would say that is the work for him. You know they let me work. If I did, in the call meet me, tell me say I know if you walk in the they shut me up and down. What do you expect? You should come and be pampering you. Has he paid back any amount out of the money? Not even a dime. You have not paid. Have you? No ma'am. He just showed me Why? some some things, some parts that he bought. Where do you live? Now satellites. Rented apartment or your own personal house? No, I'm not staying in my own personal house. Is it rented apartment? Yes, ma'am. Rented apartment. Yes, ma'am. Are you married? No, ma'am. You are saying no, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Which one do I believe? I'm not married. What plan do you have to pay back this money? You made offer to him to repair your vehicle. He accepted. There's consideration because you paid. Do you understand? And the two of you. That's one point. Now for Jay. You now use his money for the barrier. Yeah. And the medical expense. What happened to the man? The man? Peter, the mechanic, has spent Jean's money meant for repairs on his car. Jean says he defaulted on the agreement and just needs his money. My first time of hearing that he used my mother to go and bury the mom that he was supposed to leave for another man to bury. That man is still alive. Conduct the burial rights because you had what you assumed to be free for. And 60 naira. That's a lot of money, and you didn't even touch the vehicle at all. Same spot, you said. Yes, of course. So you just collected the money and took off. It will job. You bought them, it's in your shop. The car is there. I wouldn't understand. 
uh, have gearbox and whatever. And this time of hearing that he used my mother. To Him, but you see where it has ended. Uh, so you wouldn't have a receipt? I don't know. If you demand for it, you will get a receipt. He has his money at your disposal. Are you the one that protected your mom? <laughs> no, mom, no. So does it make sense to you? Everything is pure baloney. Utter nonsense. When we return, Judge Fumi gives her ruling. Judgment for the plaintiff for the sum of 660,000 naira to be paid by the defendant Peter Augustine Odion to Jean Francis Ifai. Judgment for the plaintiff. my lesson never to trust anybody even my father that introduced him to me secondly mm. I will be able, I feel whenever I want to do something of this nature I will ask the person for his registration number if he's a registered engineer with the happened is saying another man got the mother pregnant now they want to use my money to fix the problem so it don't happen it don't happen i know we'll drive i know we'll try them again any work when i get now i must know how I job I will collect. Dispute and want justice? Don't take law into your hands. Log on to www.thejusticecourt.com and submit your case or call. 0805-983-7472. 